Are you curious about the powerful tools hidden in Microsoft 365? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. What is the point or the advantage of adding in document properties? So first of all, let's pull up our advanced properties. We're going to jump up to file. We're going to go down to info. And then in this properties area, if we click, we have access to our advanced properties. And this opens up a window which has five tabs. And this really offers you a lot more information about your document. So we can see the title, we can see the type, where it's saved, the size, and we can see all of those dates and times where it's created, modified, and last accessed. In the summary tab, we have a whole heap of information. So again, we have the title, we have the author, which is myself, and then we have information completed. If you remember in the last module, we actually filled these in ourselves. So the company, the category, and also some keywords and comments. We have a statistics tab, so you can see some document statistics. So I quite like this because it shows me in the bottom here how many pages I have, paragraphs, lines, words, characters, so on and so forth. We have a contents tab, which is just telling me the title of this document. And then we have a custom tab. So we can essentially add in our own document properties. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that when we added in the tags for this particular document, so if you take a look here, it says contract and employment, the tags actually appear on the summary page, but underneath that keywords field. So don't get confused. Keywords and tags are essentially the same thing. And if I was to come to keywords and change these, so if I say job, job description, and click on OK, you're going to see that those keywords will change in the tags area of properties. Now I'm going to jump back into advanced properties and I'm going to add in some information. So let's just add in Adam's name in there. And I'm also going to jump across to custom and add in a custom field. Now I can choose to select one of these which are appearing in the list below. So for example, I might want to double click on project and this might be a text field. And the value for this would be project alpha recruitment, something like that. I can then click the add button and that's going to add it in as a property. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to say that this document was checked by Jenny and add that in as a document property. Now you're not limited to what you have listed in here. If you have an, your own property that you want to add, you can definitely do that as well. So I could call my name something like group. It's going to be a text field and the value is going to be project alpha and click on add and you can carry on going through adding as many custom properties into your document as you like. I'm going to leave it there and click on OK. Now you might be thinking to yourself, OK, that's all well and good. It's fairly easy to do. But what is the advantage of taking the time to add in properties and advanced properties? Well, one of them is for informational purposes. So if you need to see information about a file, then properties can hold a lot of really helpful information. And particularly if you're sharing this with other people in your team or in your wider organization, it's good for them to be able to see that information as well. However, one of the bigger reasons is that it makes it easier for you to search for your documents because you can utilize many of those properties in order to do a search within File Explorer. So let me show you a very quick example of that. I've opened up File Explorer and I'm going to click in my search field. And what I can do is if I want to search on one of those properties, I can just type it in. So for example, in this document, I added a keyword or a tag of job description. So what I can do is type in tag, colon, and then a keyword, job description. Hit enter. And you'll see that it's gone away and it's found my document based on the property that I've added. And what you'll see is that on your search tools in File Explorer is that you have many different ways of searching for your documents. So if you want to search for a document by a particular size, File Explorer is essentially using the document properties in order to categorize your document. 
And you'll also see that we have an other properties drop down. So in here I could choose to search by type, by name, by folder path, or again by tags, which we're doing currently. So I'm going to clear out this search. And this time I'm going to say other properties, type, and I'm going to say I only want to see docx files. And there we go. Now it's worth noting that not all of your document properties are available to search for on this search ribbon. But again, if I wanted to search for maybe all documents that I've authored, I can come in here, type in the property, colon, and then type in my name. Hit enter, and it's going to pull back every document that's been authored by me. So those are the two main advantages when it comes to adding in document properties. They're great for informational purposes, and they also assist you when it comes to searching. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.